On September 29, 2022, the Juno spacecraft will perform its first and only close flyby of Jupiter's icy moon Europa at a distance of 356 kilometers. This encounter is significant as it is the only close flyby of Europa planned between Galileo's E26 encounter in January 2000 and the Europa Clipper and JUICE encounters planned for the early 2030s. This will also be Juno's closest flyby of any planetary body after its Earth Gravity Assist encounter in October 2013 when it passed within 560 kilometers of our planet. Juno approaches Europa over its unlit leading hemisphere and makes its closest approach over Europa's night side. While not great for GenoCam imaging, this night side approach does allow for science from Juno's microwave radiometer and stellar reference unit. The microwave radiometer will scan across Europa's surface using its six channels between 600 megahertz and 22 gigahertz. These will allow it to measure brightness temperatures at deeper layers of Europa's ice shell in the hopes of finding bodies of subsurface liquid at a resolution of 120 to 200 kilometers. The stellar reference unit, normally used to monitor Juno's orientation in space, can be used as a camera to image faint targets like the night side of Europa illuminated by Jupiter shine, or to search for watery plumes along its dark limb. Juno's fields and particles instruments will also be used in the hunt for cryovolcanic plumes by looking for changes to the plasma, magnetic, and dust environments around Juno as it flies past. After closest approach, Juno will emerge over Europa's daylit trailing hemisphere, allowing for imaging by GenoCam and the infrared camera and spectrometer GRAM. A handful of images are expected from GenoCam with the closest having a pixel scale of just 767 meters, or just under half a mile. This is on par with the best imaging by Galileo of this region, though it will still be useful for filling in gaps where the previous best coverage is closer to seven kilometers per pixel. Juno Camp's closest image will focus on the Terminator region. Features that will be visible in this first image include Western Anuan Regio, the impact basin Kalanish, and a bizarre set of troughs called Ectorcua Fossa, named after a megalithic structure found in County Kerry, Ireland. The next image should be a global view with a pixel scale of 1.5 kilometers, or a little over a mile. The other two GenoCam images will focus on the bright limb. GeoRAM spectrometer during this time will be used to map water ice, carbon dioxide, and organic abundances on Europa's surface. This is Juno's only close flyby of Europa. After this, Juno will shift focus to Io as it performs a series of distant encounters over the next year, culminating with a pair of close flybys in December 2023 and February 2024. See you all in December for the next Juno encounter with Jupiter's fiery moon Io.